Good afternoon, I'm Kenji Wong with your daily dose of drug and medicine news. Today's top story, a ranch in Oklahoma suspected of being the headquarters for a drug dealing ring spanning over four states has been raided. The ringleader of the 20 year long operation was none other than 73 year old grandmother Darlene Mays. In related news, statistics show that there is an increase in the usage of synthetic marijuana. However, the results may be more harmful than using marijuana itself. Though legal and can be found at local convenience stores, users are advised that it is not safe as a substitute for the chemicals added to the herbs can prove to be psychologically damaging in the short and long term. In other news, the HIV prevention pill known as Truveda has promised for gay men who are at risk of contracting HIV, but at a price. While the product prevents over 73% of HIV infections to those who take it consistently, the issue for many is the cost of $26 a day and over what amount of time will it be taken. Researchers propose that a span of 20 years may be the most efficient and cost-effective manner, but the subject is still up for debate. This has been the Drug and Medicine Report for this afternoon. Join us at the same time tomorrow. Have a great day and stay healthy, folks. Good afternoon, I'm Crystal Williamson and I'm here with today's news. India will soon test a long-range missile capable of carrying nuclear warheads. The missile is set to be launched in the eastern state of Orissa. The Agni-V missile is India's most sophisticated weapon and has a range of over 5,000 kilometers. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett has been diagnosed with stage 1 prostate cancer. Buffett has been recently in the news proposing to President Obama to pass a Buffett rule. This would increase taxes on the wealthy. Burma's pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi is set to travel abroad for the first time in 24 years. Due to her house arrest ending in 2010, she has been afraid to leave, fearing she would not be able to return. According to the Norwegian Foreign Ministry, she is expected to visit Norway in June. One of NASA's retired space shuttles flew over Washington, D.C. today on its way to its final resting place in the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. The discovery was the most used shuttle flying in 39 missions. In San Francisco, this is Crystal Williamson, State of Events. This is Andrew Liu bringing you the latest news. Let's get started. This past week, 11 Secret Service agents were caught soliciting to prostitution during an international trip to Colombia. The agents have since been removed from duty and a formal apology has been given. The war on women continues as Republicans piggyback off the comments of Democratic correspondent Hillary Rosam, stating that stay-home mothers is not a real occupation. This will be a huge issue to be debated in the upcoming presidential elections. In Texas, a mother was brutally shot to death by an unidentified woman who then abducted her three-day-old baby. There have been no new updates on the whereabouts of the kidnappers or the young infant. And finally, billionaire Warren Buffett has been diagnosed with prostate cancer, but feels great and will continue to run his conglomerate in an optimistic manner. And there's your latest news feed for today. I'm Andrew Liu, reminding you to stay sharp, San Francisco.